hey, everyone's been asking, how do you chalk paint the furniture? I need a tutorial. So here we go. We're gonna start from the beginning to the end. I am doing my entire bedroom suite, and this is the last piece I have left. It's a nightstand. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to clean it. Start off by showing you guys all the products I'm using. I'm gonna start with the Dixie Bell White Lightning. This is to clean the furniture. And also I'm going to be using something called Slick Stick because this nightstand has a marble top and this will help the paint adhere to it. I'm going to be using the Fluff by Dixie Bell. And also we have the waxes. I have gray and a brown. And I also use a clear wax. This one's from Home Depot. Um, Dixie Bell does have a clear one. I just happen to have this one on hand that I'm gonna use. I also need a mister bottle and your best paintbrush. I love this paintbrush. I've painted a ton of furniture with it. I think it's a um, Woodster Pro possibly from Ace Hardware. Good stuff. Okay, let's get started. I have the white lightning in here. I'm just gonna start by spritzing it and wiping. See, I kind of took this apart earlier, so it's wobbling all over the place. But just give it a good clean to get any kind of residue off of it or dust or anything like that. So the paint will adhere really well. The next step is I'm going to remove all of these drawers so that we can get a good coat on the inside as well. My drawers were actually stuck, so I'm going to leave them inside of the nightstand and paint it as one piece. I do suggest that you remove the drawers when painting your furniture. It'll make the job much easier and you are able to paint the insides of the drawers as well. One thing I love about Dixie Bell paint is that it's so easy to use. The only prep work that I did on this piece of furniture was cleaning it. There's no sanding or anything else and the paint sticks very well. Okay, we got our first coat done. And now we are going to go to the top of this piece and do slick stick. You can see the marble and the slick stick will make the paint adhere. You apply it just like a paint. It's time to apply the second coat of paint to the nightstand. Once the slick stick has dried, you can now paint over it. It makes the paint adhere to anything that is plastic or not wood. I'm going to apply the clear wax to the entire piece of furniture. Part three next. Next, I'm going to apply the brown and gray wax. I chose two different color waxes for this piece because I think they have a good contrast. When you are waxing, you need to put it in any little cracks and crevices, any lines, anywhere where there would be a shadow. There's no real rhyme or reason to it any way you think that would look good. Once you apply the wax, leave it on for about a minute and then you can wipe it off. I use a microfiber towel. You can wipe as much off as you want. You can leave plenty on. It just depends on what look you are going for. 
I went a little heavy on this one because I really wanted a old weathered look. And you can see how the details start to pop out once you wipe the wax off. It really makes it pop. And I just use cheap paintbrushes from Walmart to apply the wax. See this spot? I want this wax gone. So all I have to do is dip my rag in my clear wax and It'll act like an eraser. It'll take off any dark wax that I don't want. That's part of the reason why I always use a clear wax after I paint. This is the blender brush by Dixie Bell. It's great for blending. I highly recommend it. With the little bit of wax left on the blender brush, I kind of hit the other areas of the furniture just so it's not a stark white. I used a very heavy wax on this piece because I really wanted to stand out. can't forget the sides and it's just a little bit of color so again we don't want it stark white You can see I'm using the clear wax again to remove any areas that I don't want the brown or gray wax on. This particular piece has a lot of detail work, so it does take some time to do, but it'll be worth it in the end. You need to let the wax cure for one to two days before you seal it. That is our next step. I will be using Gator Hide by Dixie Bell. It makes the product a scratch proof and waterproof, just a sealant for your furniture. Don't forget the insides of those drawers if you were not able to remove them like I was. And here is the entire bedroom suite.
This project took me about a week and a half to do, but it was well worth it.